Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new and today we are continuing Tony's juice story with our eco lifestyle rags to riches. Let's play. <laughs> That's a mouthful. I'm still having so much fun playing this. I love Tony so much and I'm so glad that you guys do too. I actually spent some time with her off camera and I redid her house with the money that we got and I cannot wait to show you guys. I am obsessed <laughs> with how it turned out. I'm excited to continue her story today. This is probably a other than Legacy, my favorite thing to film right now. I'm really liking this pack. I can uh, say that confidently now that I've played it a little bit. I think this pack is great. If you haven't gotten yet, gotten it yet, I highly recommend. <laughs> Especially if you like things like uh, crafting and gardening and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, it should be right up your alley. Today I have a watermelon Celsius. I uh, took a break from my little Fuji apple ones and I'm going back to watermelon for a little bit. I like to switch it up sometimes. I wish they had watermelons in The Sims. Then we can make our own watermelon Celsiuses. Could you guys imagine? <laughs> Anyways, enough chit chat. I love you. Let's get into this episode. Okay guys, here we are on the lot. This is our new house. And uh, like I said before, I'm obsessed with it. I think it's super, 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 super cute. Oh wait, hold on. There we go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let me give you a little tour. I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. Okay, so I tried to use a lot of stuff from the pack, obviously. Um, this planter, though, I don't think that's from the pack. I think that's CC. But these big glass doors I'm so obsessed with. You just come in and we have like a little foyer here with our mosquito by the window. Um, that's the bathroom straight ahead. It's really nothing special. Um, it's actually quite small. I went with the uni shower just to save some space and I deleted that bathtub that we used to have. And then, let's see what else we got. Why is that plant right there? That's not supposed to be there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is like the little living area. I'm gonna move that plant somewhere. We have our fabricated chair and bookshelf over here. We've got... <gasps> Our fabricated couch, excuse me. Um, our little kitchen area, isn't this just so cute? This shelf, it's like a hanging shelf, but it it intersected with the countertops and it kind of makes it look like it's part of the counter. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then it's super open right here. So like, instead of having a wall, she has a fence. So her house is kind of still like open to the public. It's not very private. But I figure since it's a Sims, like who cares, right? <laughs> These things right here are planters. I want to find something good to plant in there. We've got our vertical garden here. This is CC. This is from that Cartage garden, pa garden pack that I was telling you about in the last episode. Look at how cute that is. It looks like she harvested these things and like keeps it in her kitchen for cooking. So adorable. And then out this door, we've got our garden. So this is just a whole vibe, you guys. I want this in real life. What's up, Tony? <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got our pomegranate tree, we've got our juice machine, and then we have our grape plants and our strawberry plants. I also got us a bee machine to pollinate our plants and um, so we can get some honey. And I, I'm also har harvesting farming. That's what it's called, right? Farming. Yeah, we're farming crickets. I'm not sure what for yet, but <laughs> it came with the pack, so I wanted to try it out. And then out here in the front, we've got our little table so we can have our sails still. Um, so I put a, a ladder. It takes up a lot less space than a staircase would, so I'm loving that. I also love these new windows that came with the pack. So it's kind of like a loft situation where the second story is not fully enclosed. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's a loft. <laughs> so she goes up the ladder to the loft portion of her house, which is her bedroom. It's actually quite small at the moment, but um, it works. And above the bed, I put a glass roof so that she can look up at the stars at night when she sleeps. It looks like there's no roof at all, but it's actually just like a plain glass. And then we have another one of these big sliding glass doors that comes out to her balcony where she can like hang out. Um, there's the mixology bar thing right here so she can still practice. 
And around the corner here, there isn't much. It's kind of just like a standing balcony type thing. And then up above that, we have our solar panel. Why is it floating? It shouldn't be floating, but whatever. <laughs> we have our solar panel, our turbine, and our dew collector. So yeah, that's the house. I hope you guys like it once again. I'm happy to have a proper house finally in this Let's Play. So as you can see, we're super, 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 super unbelievably broke because of the house, but <laughs> that's okay. Now that we have a house, we can focus on saving up money to buy a business. I'm not sure how much it's gonna be because to be honest, I've never purchased a business in the Sims before. Um, so yeah, that should be interesting. I also put a dumpster behind our house just so we can die for deals and die for meals. Um, even though it's not really necessary, I just thought it would be handy to have. And uh, yeah. Also, our footprint, it's not 100% green, but it's getting there. It's a very windy day today, actually. So funny in the comments, all of you guys want Tony and Tina to be together. <laughs> But that's not possible because she's married, so... Ooh, we got mail. So that's not gonna happen, unfortunately, and I'm really sorry. I think, uh... She will just probably stay our best friend. That's probably for the best. Unless you guys want some drama... You'll have to let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, so what do you have in your inventory, Tony? You've got... What is this? Oh, builds. Bleh. You've got some trash, you've got some upgrade parts, grapes. Ooh, our bees are going to work. Grapes, strawberries, blackberries, soybeans, apples, plantains, and some flowers. We've got one six pack of strawberry. Right, 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 okay. Oh, it looks like she was already making some juice. What kind did you make? Strawberry, okay. Oh, shoot, I was gonna have her freaking make more juice, but we're so broke. <sighs> Should we just sell all the grapes that we have? We need money. And we're gonna harvest them soon again anyways. Okay, fine, I'm selling the grapes. I'm selling the grapes and I'm making another strawberry six pack. And then we can make some, uh, some blackberry six packs as well. I did wanna focus on just doing strawberry, but the more that I'm playing this, the more that I love trying different flavors and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think we're gonna do more than strawberries for sure. Some of you guys were asking in the comments if it's possible to uh, combine flavors, and it's not. I tried to do like two strawberry and two apple, and it didn't work. Um, I don't know if she needs to be like a higher juice fizzing skill for that to unlock or not, but at the moment, we can't. We've almost maxed the skill though. And how's your mixology skill? Almost at level five as well. It's like the same, mixology and juice fizzing are like 5% difference, that's so funny. What are you having? Peanut butter and jelly? Mm -mm -mm. Well, once you're done with that, why don't you come over here and practice making drinks? <sighs> Cause I don't, I don't really know what mixology does for the juice. Like if having a high skill does anything to the quality because I was really disappointed uh, when we got our evaluation back. And I'm sure like there's a lot of factors that go into it, like the quality of the plants, your juice fizzing skill, your mixology skill, um, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to experiment and find out. <laughs> so if you guys aren't familiar with the bees, they're from Seasons. Then there's like grumpiness level for the bees and you can like you can bond with the bees without a beekeeper suit and your relationship with them will go up I think it's still like that but if you put on the beekeeper suit and you try to like mess with them the relationship doesn't go up at all yeah and you can get like stung pretty bad as well but I'm gonna get her to try let's change into the beekeeper suit and collect honey I don't know what having a good relationship with the bees does. I've never done it. Thank <laughs> you! But yeah, I, I guess we can try and find out in this Let's Play. I don't see why not. Oh, hey! Who's this? Aaron Lozano. We know too many people, you guys. 
And they're like all our friends. It's hard. Oh, yeah. Yep. There they go. Oh, this is Aaron. Right, right, right. The man bun guy. Okay. So they're enraged. Oh, boy. Well, let's try applying some mite treatment and see if that helps them at all. Okay, yeah, it did. And they're going for our plants again. Um, this is just scary. Collect beeswax, too. What can we do with the beeswax, I wonder? And uh, the crickets are ready for collection. I don't even know what... Uh, I guess we could feed them. Um, and then the other options were collect cricket flour. I guess we can try that. Oh, support the... Shoot, we forgot to vote for something. Oh crap, support the performing arts. That doesn't help us at all. <laughs> and you can nurture them. So this is from the trailer actually, where they take out one of the bugs from the drawer and then they like hug on it and love on it and pet it and stuff. So um, there are three options of bugs that you can get. <laughs> you can get grubs, which is what's in the trailer. You can get beetles and you can get crickets. Aww. Their health is declining. Aww. Oh no. I don't know how to make that better for you guys. <laughs> Maybe they die eventually. I just don't know. Dang it. Freaking voting is closed. All right, let me just see. Let me see exactly what that was that won. Support the performing arts. Professionals working in entertainment related careers enjoy increased pay. Oh, boo. You know what? I think we can like petition it. We can. Ooh, but we have to wait until voting is open. Okay, well, we can do that next time. Definitely. Let's pay the bills. Um, how are the bees? Irritated still. How do you make them not irritated? Let's try bonding with them without the beekeeper suit. And then she's like super tired, so we'll head to bed. <sighs> I'm really sorry for all of those who wanted Tony and Tina to be together. It's just... Aw, she's so... Look at... She's like a bee queen. Don't get stung, though. <gasps> oh my god, she didn't get stung. They actually like her. And they're calm. Wait, what are you doing? Don't, don't. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. You don't need to push, push further. <laughs> let's head to bed. I wonder how much it is to purchase a business. I know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Buy a retail store. Let me just see. <laughs> Let me just. Okay. Um, where would we want our store to be? I mean, it would be nice if it was in Evergreen Harbor for sure. Like next to where we live. I think it would be cool to have the retail spot be in the city. Preferably this lot. I like this lot a lot and there's a lot a lot and there's always Sims walking by. It would also be beneficial to have it in the university world as well. Sell, selling all those juices to all those tired and just distracted college kids. Let's have a look at this lot really quick. I know I play on it on my BitLife series but I rarely pay attention to the surroundings. I know it's right by the water, which is nice. So let's see. Let's see. I think this would be a great spot. Right next to like this restaurant place and this like community area. Hmm. Hmm. Let's bulldoze this lot. So, and then we can buy it and see, or we can look and see how much it is with nothing on it. Oh, this would be such a cute place for it. Oh, I can see it now. I'm picturing it. What size is this lot? 30 by 30. That's a good size. Okay, now that I bulldozed a lot, let's see. <laughs> Would it be a restaurant or a retail store? Probably a retail store, right? Okay, well, let's see how much that lot is going to be for us. I'm nervous. $9,000. Oh, we need to save up $9,000 just for the lot and then we need money to actually build the place okay well this is gonna be harder than i thought <laughs> but i think we could do it i think we could do it we get those skills up and um yeah everyone will be, will be wanting our juice juice is there anything in here there isn't okay it looks like we're gonna have to spend some money on some food i guess we could just have like a quick meal 
Let's have... Uh, where does cereal go? Here we go. Let's have some cereal. What's this? Oh, cricket flour. What can we do with this? Can we put it in the fridge? No? Okay, I guess we'll just hold on to it. How much is it worth? $17. And look at this beeswax. Okay, I'm pretty sure you make candles with that probably. And we've got poor quality honey. Boo. Oh look, there's the relationship bar. Okay, so we just need to work on that a little bit and then we'll be good. <sighs> it's so dark, why is it so dark? Auto lights, all lights. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> we need some lights out here too, it's rather dark. I'm gonna put some string lights on the fence because they're adorable, but it's not doing anything for the lighting outside. This one's cute. It's nice and outdoorsy looking, so let's just put a few of those. Oh god, they're kind of expensive. Whatever. Gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, cool. We got some light in the back now. How are our plants? How come they're not ready to harvest yet? Or evolve? That's making me sad. Oh, and what have you guys said in the comments? You can put four black four pieces of fruit in there and it'll still make a six pack so let's uh let's test that theory because if i've been putting five fruits in here when it wasn't even needed i'm gonna be pissed <laughs> what you did not just drink one. Oh my god you butthole oh she did no those are not for drinking oh my god well <laughs> I guess you might as well just continue because uh, it's already half gone, isn't it? Whatever, just drink it. I'm gonna put these here so she doesn't do that again. Ooh, ooh, there are grapes. That's what I'm talking about. Get those influence points just rolling in. Ooh, and the pomegranates are ready as well. Mm-hmm. All right, let's collect what we brewed. Uh, we got blackberry. $245 just sold regularly. Okay. Let's see if we can make some honey stuff. Even though the honey is poor quality. What? Cricket? You can make juice from cricket flour? Interesting. <laughs> well, I did want to use our honey for this purpose, so... Oh, wait, shoot, I didn't even check to see if it was a six-pack. It is! Oh my god, yes! So we only need four? That's amazing. So I'm thinking that putting a dumpster on your lot doesn't do anything. It's been more than two hours and we still can't die for deals or die for meals. It might need to be on like a community lot, which is really annoying. <laughs> okay, it's fizzy honey, sweet and fizzy, sure to overcome any bad weather. Interesting. I wonder what that means. Did we get a six pack from that? <gasps> Oh my god, we only used three honeys too. Oh my god, we've been wasting our fruits this whole time. I wonder if two will make uh two will make a six pack. Let's let's find out. Let's find out. Let's get that skill up as well. You got this. Um we haven't made some plantain juice, so I'm just gonna use our plantains for experimental purposes. Spray for bugs. Alright, level five gardening. That's what I like to see. Ooh, well done. Looks like this household is in compliance of all active neighborhood action plans. You'll be see you'll see a reduction in your next round of bills as a result of your commitment. Yes. Not really sure why. Is it because we have all these things on the roof? If so, that's what's up. She gardens all the time, like without me even telling her. She just really, really, really loves to garden. <laughs> all right, let's collect this plantain juice. See what's good. Why is it blue? That doesn't make any sense, but it's a six pack. Holy cannoli, okay. Why was I putting that many fruits in to begin with? I don't know. Let's make some pomegranate juice. Rummage for the trash, rummage the trash for bits and pieces. And I guess we can just put this in the dumpster out here. And now we can die for deals and die for meals. That's what's up. So we just need to put trash in there for it to work. Hey, Tony, it's Lucas. Do you want to hang out tonight? No, not really. <laughs> We're kind of busy. Let's see what we find. Oh, a, a bed. Very nice. Very cool. Definitely going to sell that. All right, go ahead. Take a shower. Let's make sure our mosquito is doing okay. Of course. 
Look! Tina's here and she's playing guitar for us. Are you any good? Aw, don't be shy, love. Don't be shy. Let's invite her in. I don't know what you guys can do together. It's kind of boring in this house. Oops, I forgot to move the plant. Perfect. I wish we could show off our mosquito <laughs> to Tina. Hi. Oh, now we can give juice fizzing tips. Holy cannoli, look at us go. What are you cooking? What are you making? Garden salad? That's pretty cheap. I'll let you do it. I'll allow it. Fizzy pomegranate juice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold up. Hold up. Reach juice fizzing level five. Tony has mastered the juice fizzing skill and became a certified aficionado. She can now attempt to fizz the mysterious Grimbucha. <gasps> Need to do that now. But I'll let you eat your salad first. Just hurry up. Tina, you can come in. What is this? Oh my god, we gave her this the grape six pack, and it looks like she busted one out and was gonna drink it, but changed her mind. Don't 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 litter on our property. This was a gift for you. Who are you texting? I'm so nosy. <laughs> All right, um, all right, let's load some ingredients and see what this Grim Bucha stuff is. I wonder if it has to do with the Death Flower and the Grim Reaper. I wonder. Um, okay, I don't see the option. What's that about? We collected the honey again. It's still poor quality. She's diving for deals again. Let's see if we get anything decent. A kitchen upgrade part. Holy cannoli, how boring. Oh my gosh, die for deals a bunch, please. Ooh, and some blackberry juice be done. We're gonna have the most lit yard sale ever. We have so many six packs right now. Let's see, more houndstooth dye. That's what's up. Ooh, it looks like some of our plants are ready to evolve. How many of them? Just that one? Oh, right. I wonder what the bees do. I mean, I know it probably makes the quality better, but I want to know exactly what it does. Okay guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to sell some of our six packs over here on this table. Um, cause we need some money. We need your money. Hopefully we'll make enough to buy the lot in this episode. That would be so dope. Okay. Um, let's see. Boom. <gasps> you guys look masterpiece I didn't even know that was a thing yes yes a hundred times yes I wonder how much that's gonna sell for oh man I'm excited to find out wake up Tony we got work to do girl we got work why are you standing behind the fence it's not personal at all <laughs> What you think, buddy? Oh yeah, and a lot of you guys let me know about why everyone in my game is dazed all the time, and it's because of the juiced community thing. Apparently it makes you dazed. <gasps> 1,460. Not really sure for what, but I'll take it. What you think? Judd. Don. Eric, 324. Not really sure what that was for, but that wasn't very good so cute that we can have honey drinks oh my gosh all of these days people be like "Ooh, juice that's what i'm talking about come on give us more money Ooh, 816 i'll take it 980 i'll take it oh my god are you showing off right now wow jay just wow and look, soothing chimes. The melody of the wind chimes is like a massage for the mind. <gasps> Hopefully that'll make people buy more juice, you know? Where's the masterpiece? Did we sell that yet? Oh no, this is spoiled. Sad day. Oh my gosh, she's gonna sell a spoiled one. I wonder if anyone would buy it. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, well, I guess, mm, should we leave it on the table and just like see? Let's see. Let's see if anyone will buy the stinky one. I'm intrigued. Tony, Tony. Oh, Jay, you're back. Oh no, I think it's maybe deterring people. She's like, hey, I'm, I'm starting my new juice business. I'm trying to save up some money so I can buy a lot so I can eventually buy a store. What do you think? 
Help, help a girl out. Or just do sit-ups. That's fine, too. Come on, Jay. Oh, my God. Is the stinky one, like, making people go away? Ooh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That lady just bought the stinky juice for $980. You guys, this game, though, it cracks me up, truly. Who are you? Freddie Lundy. Interesting. Truly interesting. Huh. I mean, you're ginger and you don't look bad. Huh. Maybe we should introduce ourselves just so we know him. She's in a terrible mood, but I still want to see if we can sell some more stuff. Oh, yes! 1,048! You guys, look how much money we have! Oh! <gasps> You guys, we're gonna get the lot in this episode. Who knows what else will happen? Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. No, no, no. You need to stay out here because there's a bunch of people, potential customers. Come on. Oh, you know what it is? Everyone is freaking playing instruments because. <laughs> because of the freaking thing, the performing arts thing. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, Tony, I'll let you sleep. Good night, love. This guy's just decided to stick around and talk to our plants, though, which is cool. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to change her um, aspiration as well. Since I don't want her to get a job and becoming a job, or... <laughs> because I don't want her getting a job, and one of the things is to get a job in this aspiration, I don't think that it is, uh... It makes sense. So let's change it to Master Maker. What do we need to do for this? Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. I feel like this will definitely... I think that'll definitely be better. Unless... Let's do the Freelance Botanist one for now because it's the one that... I don't know. I feel like it'll benefit us more and we'll get the most aspiration points from it. At least at the moment, we can always change it later. All right, guys, it's a new day and her needs are full. So let's go ahead and try and sell some more stuff today just so we can get that money so we can buy our lot. That is the main goal, you know? Oh, Octavia, please buy some, please. Post it on your Instagram, get people, get the word out. Oh, speaking of that, <laughs> you guys left, or one of you guys left this really cute comment, which I loved. I thought it was so, 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 so cool and such a good idea. Um, so while Tony like makes her juices and whenever she makes like a new flavor and all that kind of stuff to like post a picture of it on Simstagram and to like stream when she's making her juice and all that, like she can have like an Insta page for her business just to get the word out. I thought that was such a cute idea. So when we can, I'm going to um, going to buy a streaming thing, a streaming bot. Ooh, 1,304. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, you juice addict. I know you want some holly. All right, guys, here we are, a new day. We had crap luck with our yard sale last night. No one wanted to buy anything and it was rather disappointing, but... We did make it to 9,547, so we can buy the lot if we want to. I'm just having her make some fruit salad this morning for breakfast. And then it's love day as well. So I guess we can just like see if anyone texts us today and invites us out to do something. Uh, if not, then I don't know. A lot of you guys want her to have a girlfriend, which I'm down for. I'm also down for her to have a boyfriend too. I just, I think she would be into whatever like uh, as long as they clicked there. then you. you know maybe we can do like a a simsta type thing but i think you have to choose if it's a boy or a girl i wish it could just oh, be yeah. random you know so i don't know i don't know there hasn't been anyone that i've been like oh yes that's the one for sure oh my god olive aged up <gasps> oh my gosh she looks so cute i need to give her an, a makeover like asap some of you guys want me to give like a proper makeover to uh, Tina as well. Oh my gosh, Elle is an elder now. Aww. Ooh, voting is open again. Yes, that was a quick week. Holy crap. 
But we should definitely go over there and spend all of our um, influencer points that we have. Because we've got so freaking many. 1,108. Like, what? We could run this town if we wanted to. All right, how are the plants? All right, let's harvest them all. Harvest all, harvest all. And she's about to level up again, which is bomb. I planted a few more pomegranate trees too, which sprouted up finally. I like the trees here too. It kind of like shields the world from our plants from this side, which is nice. They can definitely still see them on this side. <gasps> you guys look, London's pregnant. Oh my gosh, I wish we could congratulate her. Let's ask her the due date. Cute. Buy something, please. 980, okay. Not good, not bad. 1048. Bomb. Oh, frick is your name. Grace, please. Grace, Masami. 1400. Oh my goodness gracious me, that is what I like to see. Guys, we already have $12,000. This is definitely going in a way that I am happy with, <laughs> for sure. Oh my gosh, it's Bjorn that's inviting us out. He wants to go to the nightclub again. Oh shoot. Okay, fine, we'll go. Dang it, we should have invited uh, Tony and her wife, or Tina and her wife and daughter. Well, actually she's a teenager and we're going to a nightclub. Hopefully we can meet someone good. I forgot to add more Sims to my game. Encouraged to follow dreams. Hey Bjorn. Oh, he didn't like that? Whatever. So Tony and Bjorn are just here at the bar hanging out. Nothing yeah. special. <laughs> this dude with his death shirt. Arthur Webb. Oh. Guys, I really want her to meet someone, but I'm not sure how I want to go about it. This is hard. <clears throat> Let's see who we got though. Brent. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at freaking Alexander. Look at this fit. I mean, wow. <laughs> That's not what I expected for you, but go off, Alex. What else we got here? Oh, here's that one guy again. Let's have a look at him and create a sim because I'm really curious what he looks like with like non-vampire hair. Okay, he has fangs and I thought that he might be a vampire, but he's not. He's just a fun loving guy, a green fiend and a bad cook. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> This shirt though, what if he wore this and Tony wore her shirt and they could be like cute little matching babies? But anyway, this is what he looks like with his little makeover. He's actually really cute. Like definitely has um, potential and I like his traits. I don't really like the bad cook one, but the green fiend trait is good. Um, they're happiest when living on a green street and will continuously work towards making their environment more eco-friendly. Tony, I believe has this trait. And fun loving, I always, always love this trait. Even though they get bored often, I think it's so cute that they just like to have fun. So I don't know, I don't know. I think we should get to know him a little bit more and just see how well they get along. Let me try and find a shirt that doesn't clip with these pants because that's bugging me. Okay, this is one of those Sims where facial, ha facial hair actually looks good on him. That's rare, but since I never use facial hair, I think we're gonna put some on him. I think it looks nice. And he also needs some body hair. I have some body hair tattoos and I always forget to put them on my Sims. But not today, Zerg. I remembered. I freaking remembered. And we're gonna do Auburn. Um, how about there? Like a small to medium amount. I like him, you guys. I like him a lot. Even if he is not going to be a love interest, I still want him to be our friend. We need a nice group of friends. And since he's a green fiend, I think um, he's probably into the same things that we are. All right, where did Mr. Sir go? Where are you? I didn't just give you a freaking makeover for nothing. Ah, there you are. Oh my god, he's thinking about another girl though. <gasps> They're chatting with each other from different tables. <laughs> They don't really know each other that much right now. Ooh, we can enthuse about juice fizzing. I wonder if he's into that. But 
He's feeling flirty though. Look at him, his little red cheeky cheeks. He's really cute. Are you coming to sit with us? Where are you going? Okay. Aww. Aww. That outfit is everything. It's so simple, but... Oh my god, look at the way he's looking at her. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh! <laughs> He's singing and he's like, wow. Wingles, he'll sing as well! <laughs> Aww. That's so sweet. That is so, so, so sweet. I love them together. They're not even together. What am I talking about? I get way too ahead of myself. I'm real sorry, guys. I just get really excited. Let's ask him to hang out. Hey, you want to hang out for a bit? Maybe we can go get some dinner? How do you feel? Okay, I can hang out for a bit. All right, cool. Well, let's go find ourselves a restaurant then. I don't think I placed anything. Okay, well, I guess we could just go to the city then, and maybe we can find like a food booth. Let's go to the lot that we're planning on buying and let's bring him with us and be like, and show him what our life goals are. Talk about our dreams. I think that would be really cute. Here we are. This is the lot that I'm planning on buying. What do you think? What do you think of the location? Do you think it would be good enough for my juice business? She's laughing at him being a bad cook. He's like, I think so. I think you should go for it. I wonder if he has a job. Let's ask him about his career. If he doesn't, then we can just decide his life. Unemployed. Okay, no problem. <laughs> if you guys don't know about this mod, it's called The Life Decider by Kawaii Stacy. And if there's a sim that just like has nothing going on for themselves or just kind of a base sim, you can decide their life, which is nice. Um, it gives them some skills, it gives them an extra trait, and it also gives them a career. It's just random. So let's see. Where? Okay, decide Freddy's life. All right. Hey, where are you going? Hold on. Stop. I want to see I want to see what career you got. Oh, I don't think we can ask anymore, can we? All right. Well, that's fine. We'll figure it out later, but we should follow him wherever he's going. Ooh, who here's a booth. Here's a booth. Here's a booth. Here's a booth. Um, oh my gosh, veggies. We should buy something there too. But let's get some food right now. Let's get Let's get samosa oh, since it's the cheapest one. Freddy is watching the performer. Hmm. Oh my gosh, this was um one of our friends in the uni series. Hmm. I don't appreciate you watching her like that. That's just rude. We're on a date right now. What can we buy here? Anything? Oh, cherry! Oh my gosh, I didn't even know you could get cherries in this game. Oh yes, queen. Oh yes, honey. We're buying some of those. Uh, let's buy some chili powder. Let's buy some, oh yes, lemons. Uh, what else? Pears. Why not? Are there strawberries? Well, that doesn't help us now. Tomatoes. Hmm. I think we're good with that. $287. <gasps> Okie dokie then. Okay, Freddy, where are you? Who's this? Tony Dyer. Why does that sound familiar? Oh, right! That was that bartender guy. I forgot. What are you gonna do? Chat with Freddy? That's fine. Alright, well... Oh god. What do we have in our inventory? Can we give him a love day gift? Maybe we should give him the six pack. Ooh, maybe we can give him some honey. Or some soy wax. Mm, or some trash. <laughs> oh man, I kind of want to sell this six pack though since it's a freaking masterpiece. Oh no, we stink. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, what's happening here? Zachariah Lacey, what happened? Is his wife about to give birth? I'm so sorry we stink. I don't. I, I wish I could help it, but I can't. Okay, well, perhaps we should leave. Oh my god, there's a servo. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, she's going over here to chat with Tony. Huh. Okay. 
Maybe we should just hug him and then go home. It's probably not a good idea since we stink, but I, I at least want to say goodbye before we dip. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you soon. I like Freddy, you guys. I like him a lot. I mean, he doesn't have to be endgame or anything. He can just be like Tony having some fun, you know? How are you doing, bees? You good? Ooh, the honey is ready. Let's collect it. They didn't attack us for once. Wow. Oh, right, we got some new plants. <gasps> That's so exciting. Okay. Yeah, cherry tree. Hmm. I wonder if it will still grow. I guess we'll find out. Failed to germinate. Dang it. Okay. Um. Shoot. All right. Well, let's put these back in our inventory then. And we can plant... I don't know what else to plant. Everything we got was a tree. Ooh! Tony has completed the nature walk- the completed nature walker of the aspiration. Okay, what's next? Evolve five different plants. Okay. Can do. Can do. <sighs> it's so much fun to just play Sims. Like, I don't know. And I'm so glad that you guys like it too. Like, like watching me play. <laughs> I just, I feel real lucky and I don't feel like I let you guys know how thankful I am enough. So I'm very thankful for you and I love you and I always will. What's today? Oh, freak it, talk like a pirate day, okay. I was just thinking about how we met. How did we meet? Oh, we just met on the side of the, the street <laughs> when I was homeless. That's probably why he was thinking about it. Ooh, yes, we got a vote. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Holy cannoli, okay. Let's vote and then repeal as well. Okay, what should we vote for this time? What's winning? Fun loving community. Comedy, mischief, and video gaming. Clean energy production, that could work. That could for sure work, but what else we got? Ooh, look at that. The lovely conifer station is pretty green already, but what if we were more green in all respects of the world? With a teensy donation from residents, we will be able to fund the planting of many luscious trees, hedges, and more, which will turn, which will in turn give Conifer Station a greener eco footprint. That sounds pretty cool. I like that. Let's do that. I want the world to change a little bit, so let's vote for this. Let's do 12. Hopefully that'll work. All right, and then let's repeal the performing arts one. Um, Tony has started a neighborhood action plan repeal process. Once the five required signatures have been gathered, the chosen action plan will be repealed at the end of the current voting period. Any signatures acquired during this process will be reset regardless of the repeal success. Okay, how do we get signatures, I wonder? Do we have to ask people for them? Let's find out. Let's introduce ourselves to this lady. So, so. Um, we're already good friends. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ask for a repeal signature. That's what it is. Okay, great. So what do you think? No one in this neighborhood does performing arts. Will you sign the petition to repeal? Of course I will. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Nina Caliente. You are a lifesaver. Let's go over here and uh, try to get some more signatures. I didn't ask for performing arts. How dare this game? Just do that without asking me first. <laughs> oh, and you know what? We can sell some stuff today. All right, let's ask her. Oh, hi, me matey. Will you please sign my petition? This is Jay's wife. Ask for repeal signature. Oh, Mr. Baco aged up. Poor guy. Okay, so that's two signatures. Baco will be three. Do we know this guy? We don't, but we can introduce ourselves anyway. This girl, we see her everywhere. She's so pretty. Do we know her? We do, we do, we do, we do. Maybe we can have a look at her and create a sim too. Oh, you guys! This is one of your sims, actually. Uh, I gave her a small makeover, though. What's your name, darling? Lena Peterson. Yeah! I moved her into the apartments next to us. I was hoping she could be, um, like, our bestie, but I've never seen her around. This is the first time. And this guy is a sim that I made. I was just, like, messing around, and, uh, this was the result. <laughs> He's so cute. Super monochromatic, of course. But, uh, I think we should introduce ourselves to both of them. Where did those two go? Don't tell me you left already. 
Oh my god, they freaking left. I don't know how many signatures we need. Let's let's ask for one more and see what happens. Thank you. I think you are a fifth signature. Oh, there he is. He's back. Yes. Hello, sir. What's his name again? Casey Aiken. Okay, we can't ask him for a signature, so maybe we got all the signatures that we need. Oh, no, we can't ask him. Do we want a different community space this time? Maybe we should change it to the community garden now. It's the only one we haven't done. Just vote for it a few times and see what happens. Oh, okay, look. This is- okay, okay, okay. This is where you keep track. Stop the performing arts. Eight out of five. All right, we good. We are good. I've been so good about catching whenever my camera turns off. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm getting better. <laughs> um, but uh, I've been slipping lately. It's gone off a few times without me noticing. All right, we got... I'm gonna make some juice from these cherries since we already planted one. Oh, man. Oh, crap, our fridge is broken. I really don't want her to die, so I'm gonna hire a repair service for that. That's dangerous. What are you cooking there? Scrambled eggs with bacon. Okay, well, I kind of wanted you to, like, not eat meat, but... <laughs> it's, um... Looks like your place doesn't need services. What do you mean? Our fridge is clearly broken. Whatever, it's only $152. I'll replace it. Fizzy cherry juice. Yummy. Wish we could make, like, flavored lemonades. How cool would that be? What the heck happened to that other six-pack that we had? Oh, it's in here. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Um, no, don't go to bed yet. I really want to sell some more stuff. And then we can buy the lot. And maybe think about building... I don't even know, like, what vibe I want the shop to have. Like a cutesy vibe, or like a eco-friendly vibe or like a uh, modern clean vibe i don't know i just don't know oh ooh, ooh, 1704 that's what's up okay so this is what this is the one that's a masterpiece ooh, pomegranate. okay we'll see how much that one sells for Bella! My girl! I know you're wealthy as well. Please buy it. Please. Please. I'm dying to know how much it's worth. Look at that waist. It's so tiny. It's like non-existent. I think we're getting somewhere though, guys. Like, uh, if Bella comes to our table though, I feel like that is good. I, I think the word is getting out. Someone buy it. Oh! <coughs> <laughs> I legit choked at how much that six pack sold for. <laughs> oh my god, it was 3,000 something. Holy cannoli. Okay. Wow. I am pumped right now. 3,000 something. Ooh. Are you pregnant too, Liberty? I think you are! How sweet! Congratulations! Oh, it's officially summer! Yay! Oh my gosh. Hey, I heard you and Bella Goth are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly you're a good person to know. Everything is ready to harvest. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Is the honey full? Yes, it is. Collect it. Collect it. Bond with the bees as well. Do your thing, girl. Ooh, and it looks like some plants are ready to evolve. Our crickets died, by the way, so there's nothing in here. We could farm some grubs, though. Bombardier beetles? Level 5 cooking or level 9 mischief? Interesting. Since these lemons are a year-round fruit, I'm gonna get her to plant some out here. And then what else do we hang out? Pears. What are those? Fall and winter. Okay, so not quite right now. Look at how many strawberries we have. I never thought we would have that many. <laughs> and all these beautiful honeys. They are now normal quality, which is good. I think we can sell all the poor ones because we don't want them for our juices. 
I guess we could sell them up on the um, on the table here for more. Why don't we just do that? Oh, look at the cute little honey jars. I love it. I've noticed that less and less people come to our yard sales now. It makes it kind of hard to sell stuff. 72 bucks instead of 18 for the honey. That's pretty good. Oh, removing weeds. Tony found a frog hiding in her garden. Cute. What kind of frog is it? A dirt frog. How boring. We can put it over here by our little mosquito, though. We can have, like, a little collection of pets. <laughs> Why not? Bills again? 248 that's less than last time so that's good all right guys so we have some pomegranate grape pomegranate and cherry juice to sell today we've got two masterpieces which should be good and we've got a couple of honeys it's been really hard people don't want to buy stuff lately so fingers crossed it goes well today okay so we bought some honey which is not ideal i want them to buy the juice but <laughs> it is what it is thank you daryl Darrell, however you pronounce it stop flirting with him Ooh, 1532 yes keep it coming we have twenty thousand dollars we started this episode with 14. I'm so proud of us. We can buy that lot now and probably build the business already, which is pretty crazy. And I want our eco footprint to go to green already. It's like right there. <gasps> Ooh, green initiatives. The votes have been tallied and it has been decided that conifer confer station does need does indeed need more plant life and greenery. The planting for green initiatives will begin immediately. Residents can look forward to some lovely green changes taking place over the next week. How exciting! Did that other thing get get uh, repealed, I wonder? Let's see. Yes, it's not here anymore. Thank goodness. Now people will stop playing their crappy violins all over our lot. <laughs> yes, 3036. Oh yes, thank you so much. Yes, and early. Yes, and early. Yes. Okay, you guys. Well, I say, oh my gosh, she's in such a bad mood though. <sighs> All right, tomorrow. Tomorrow we will get up bright and early and go and buy our retail space. We're doing it. We're freaking doing this, you guys. We are successful. All right, she's up having a shower. Let's have, let's have a nice breakfast this morning. How about some pancakes? Ooh, we can make a honey cake. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, because we have honey in our inventory. Mm, I'm kind of vibing pancakes though for breakfast today. Mm, mm, mm. Pancakas. Cute. <laughs> I wish since we had strawberries in our inventory, we could put like some cut up strawberries on top of those. That's a whole mood right there. And would you look at that, just in time. Our plants are ready to harvest. All right, guys, it is 10.30. We just made ourselves a nice pomegranate juice. Um, I am going to go and get the lot now. Uh, yeah, it'll be a retail store. Absolutely. And we're gonna buy the old salt house lot. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And we'll have 15,000 funds left over. I'm proud. I've never done this in this sim, so this is really exciting. I have no idea like how businesses work or whatever, but I guess we will figure it out. Oh, transfer funds to your business. Okay. Yeah, I guess we can do that. Uh, let's transfer 10,000. Okay, and so we, now we have $10,000 to build. Maybe we should just do like a little a little something something for now nothing too crazy okay here we go retail items bizolian's cash register this is really the only cash register in the game wow okay well let's just get a table for now we'll get a cute little um must be placed on specific objects really we can't put it on this table it has to be on a counter, okay. Okay, let's get that for now. Grab the cash register. 
And then I, we need something to display our juices on. This is just very temporary until I build something better. Okay, I like this. Maybe we can get two of them and just have them on against the walls like that. Oh, we need a light. <laughs> Aww. It looks like a pink berry or something. <laughs> oh, I love it. But oh my god, I am having so many ideas for this retail space right now. I'm so excited. I guess we can just put one of these fruit rugs right here. That's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, well, ooh, and we can have lot traits too. Is there a trait that'll make people want to spend more money? <laughs> I mean, we could do like a study spot and have some tables outside so people can get some juice and just hang out. Oh, sunny aspect. That's cute. Ooh, eco lot. Yes, why not? I don't know, the rest of the traits don't really like benefit us at all. So perhaps we'll just do those two. Okay guys, I don't want it to be called the old salt house. So I was thinking, some of you guys left some comments with some good business name suggestions. And one that really stuck out to me was Tony's Tonics because that can be like a mixture of things and it sounds nice and it rolls off the tongue. So shout out to the subscriber that commented that. I love the name, it's great. And yeah, that's it. We're done. I will definitely <laughs> add more stuff later. See, this is all very new to me. I've never done this before. We have a six pack that we can sell. I wish we had more. Maybe we should buy a juicing machine. I like want to know what happens when we open though. We can mark our prices up. We can't do 300%. Why not? What's this? View, la view last finances, manage employees, employ uniforms, and sell the store. Okay. Ooh, ooh, business perks. Oh, this is gonna be fun. No, Tony! Oh my god. Set for sale. Let's open and see what happens. Hi, we don't have much, but... Yeah, welcome to my new store. It's like, really, this is all you have? A six pack with one missing. They've been here for four hours and have not purchased anything. Ooh, I'm ready to buy when you get a chance to ring me up. Yes, ring up customer. Please purchase. Oh, she's using an iPad to ring her up. How sweet is that? Congratulations, Tony, on your first sale. 1,424. I mean, not bad but not great. <laughs> okay, well, let's go home since we have nothing else to sell. And I think I'm gonna end this episode right here because uh, I really want to build the store. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna need some time to do that. But dang, I'm so pumped. I'm so, so, so excited we finally have our business. That is just crazy to me. I never thought we would get it this fast, but here we are. Oh yes! Level seven gardening, that, that is what I'm talking about. You know what? I actually think at level seven, we can purchase rare plants now, can't we? Oh, we can get uncommon plants. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna get a few packets of those just to see what we get. Cause I'm itching to make some, some, something new. Open the packet, girl, open it. Okay, lilies, which are worth a butt ton and trash fruit. Foul smelling and inexplicably composed entirely of refuse. I wonder if you can make trash fruit juice. I'm intrigued, so we're gonna plant it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let me see what else there is that we can get because I feel like there was more than that. Farmer flowers and fruits. Okay, we can get one of those. Holly and lemons. Uh, cherries, okay. And roses. Ooh. All right, well, looks like Tony is off to bed. I'm going to leave this part right here. Um, please let me know what you think of Freddy. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys want her to have a girlfriend, but I think she can be into boys and girls. Like, there isn't really a restriction to who she dates. But let me know what you think of him. Oh, he's a fisherman. Huh. I wonder if we can make fish juice. Maybe he can catch us some, some good fishies and we can turn them into juice. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I love you so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!